Welcome to Complexity Made Simple. My name is Paul Allen and the topic of today's newsletter is the signal versus the noise. The key to continuous improvement, the key to problem solving. We are looking at signal versus signal versus noise. If you don't understand this, you won't get your continuous improvement right. You won't get your problem solving right. So let's get into this subject. Okay, look, I've said this before. Your processes are all big, random number generators. I'm a manufacturing guy. This applies to manufacturing systems, but it also applies to systems that are delivering services. Whether it's your website, whether it's an insurance quote, whatever it happens to be. Your processes are big random number generators when it comes to your key performance indicators. Now I'm going to look at this from a manufacturing point of view, but this would apply to the service sector just as well. So let's have a look. What does a big random number generator look like? Well, if we put it on a graph, it's going to look like this. Yeah, process is just randomly process is just randomly bouncing across the uh, the graph there um, sometimes a little better sometimes a little worse of course in a manufacturing situation what are we typically trying to do we're trying to hit a nominal we're trying to get this process between tolerances so let's just drop those let's just drop those numbers on the graph a second okay there's the nominal there's the target that we're after There's the upper tolerance, there's the lower tolerance. Okay, now then, let's look at this thing. Is my problem the ability to hit the center, to hit the target? Actually, no. The center of my results is sitting right where I need it to be, slap on the nominal. My problem is that I have too much spread around that setting, in other words, I have problem with noise. I don't have problem with the signal. The signal is the middle. I've got the middle sitting smack on target. So my problem here is with noise. Now if I draw that in a slightly different way, it's going to look like this. Let's draw that as a distribution. Let's put the tolerances on this thing. What's it going to look like? Well, it's going to look like sitting in the right place but I've got defects to the bottom defects to the top and to be honest there is nothing the operator can do about this in fact if you encourage the operator to try and deal with this problem what will they do well they'll wind this distribution backwards and forwards and typically they will make it worse that is a problem with noise Okay, now let's have a look at a problem where the problem is the signal. Got the same process in a sense. We've got the big, we've got the random number generator bouncing around. Okay, we'll put a we'll put an upper tolerance on this thing. There it is, we'll put a lower tolerance on there, and we'll put the middle. There's the nominal that we're aiming for. Now what's my problem? Well, my problem is the whole thing sitting too low. This is a problem with signal. The signal is the mean, the average of your process. Now, this is a problem that I haven't got the signal sitting on target. Here's the target here, T, the middle of the, the, middle of the tolerance. This is a problem with signal. Now, let's draw that distribution. Let's see what I get. typically have is something that's looking like this lots of defects out here the other tolerance is sitting right over there this is a problem with signal this is a problem with noise now why are these things important to you here's the deal folks this drives your problem solving approach this drives your problem solving activity and how you need to look at these two issues because typically this one here getting rid of the noise 
getting rid of the noise will take three months to do. Yes, it will. It's going to take three months. You can't fix this in three days. It's going to take you three months. You are going to need a team. And you are going to need management sponsorship. In other words, the management is responsible for this problem. Lots of the reasons why this problem exists are deep inside your company. They are policies and procedures often. Your purchasing routines, your maintenance routines, your training routines. These can't be fixed in three days. Okay? How about this thing down here? Well, down here, typically, this can often be fixed by one person. They can often fix it in three minutes, three hours, three days. In other words, it's a very quick fix. Okay, so often three minutes this is often some simple dial so it's a dial on a machine it could be that the reason why you have this problem maybe the wrong piece of paperwork is being used in a in a service process and you just have to use the right piece of paperwork and the whole process moves in terms of maybe in terms of time this could be a uh, how fast you're providing the service for example um, a little bit too slow and it's because you're using an over complicated process maybe you switch the process, very simple to do. One person, it's a decision that maybe one person can take in three minutes. Typically what's going on folks, you've got your money making process. You have a process that you want to use to make money. That's what all your processes are supposed to be doing. You're supposed to be making money. What you've got is a series of inputs. And of course, some measurable outputs, some service that you're providing to the customer, a dimension, a tolerance that you're trying to hit, maybe. This problem up here, what's typically happening is you have too much variability coming into each one of these. And when you have too much variability coming in, you are going to get too much variability coming out, and you are going to get a problem with noise. Now as I say, these are often deep seated. They may be that you haven't provided the maintenance on your equipment. So the machine is behaving badly. And then the operator is trying to trying to buy that bad behavior off by adjusting settings. So you have settings that are being moved. You have the condition of the equipment which is moving around. That's too much, too much variability. You might also have poor quality material coming in here. Yeah, so you might be buying cheap material. These things cannot be fixed overnight. You cannot just put all the maintenance issues right overnight. That's why if you say, I'm going to do better maintenance, okay, great. That won't play through till a couple of months. You're going to buy better material, maybe. Or you're going to put a tighter tolerance on a previous machine. Again, that won't play through instantaneously. Now forget, all of these things have got to be changed to bring this in. Here what's happening is maybe you had some standard settings and an untrained operator has inadvertently taken one of the values somewhere new. And all you've basically got to do is go up to the machine, audit the settings and put the dial back to where it should be. That's going to take you three minutes to do that. It's going to center the process. So this takes three minutes, this takes three months. You've got to know whether you're dealing with signal or noise. And of course, it's very easy. Plot a graph. Plot a graph, you'll see whether it's signal or noise. Now then, what they typically say is 90% of your problems are noise related. In other words, 90% need three months to fix the problem. What are you doing 90% of the time? Well, they say 90% of the time, the action that you're taking is to spend three minutes trying to fix it. In other words, you let an operator play with the dials up here. What will the operator do if he plays with the dials up here? Typically, 
he makes it worse. They say 90% of the time when an operator adjusts a machine, 90% of the time he makes it worse. Think about that for a second. You need to know the difference between signal and noise. The operator is in charge of the signal. The management is in charge of the noise. And if you don't know the difference, what you end up doing is lots of this. Your problem disappears maybe for a day or two, but then it keeps coming back. Yeah, and you put lots of effort in and the problem comes back. You put lots of effort in and the problem comes back. Why is that? You don't know the difference between signal and noise. Signal and noise, it's the key to true problem solving. Signal versus noise, it's the key to true continuous improvement. If you'd like to know more about any of the concepts covered in this video, or any of the other concepts covered in my, uh, my other tutorial videos, then here's my latest book, Drink Tea and Read the Paper. It covers everything you need to know about how to make sure that Six Sigma becomes world-class engineering in your company. Otherwise, if you'd like to get in touch with me, a little bit of help about Lean, a little bit of help with Six Sigma, please contact me on the email below.